In this video, I'm going to compare Shopify versus Wix. Which one is the best for you? If you were a dropshipper, if you want to create an online store and you want to choose Wix or Shopify, I'm going to compare the main similarities and differences these platforms have, uh, depending on your situation, which one could be the best. So let's start with Shopify. So Shopify is well known. It's one of the, it's the most popular e-commerce uh, platform builder for online stores and that's because it's super easy it's beginner friendly and yeah it's just it has a good host and it's very easy to start selling online if you're a dropshipper if you want to just create an e-commerce store and here if you are in a website you can see it looks very clean and in my opinion it's one of the easiest programs or software to build an online store if we go to Wix, you can see this also looks very clean and it also says create a website, power your brand. So you can also use Wix for e-commerce websites, for branding, for stuff like that. So Shopify and Wix are really similar here. It's both that you can create a website with their hosting and connect a domain to sell online, to make a blogging website, affiliate marketing and stuff like that. If we go to the pricing and features of Shopify, you can see it has a basic Shopify plan, a normal Shopify plan and advanced. So the basic plan is only $29 a month, which isn't a lot. The normal Shopify plan, if you want to upgrade, you want some more uh, features, better hosting, $79 a month. And then the advanced, which I never recommend is $300 a month. I don't think anyone would should should choose advanced because it's just not worth it. If you go for the basic plan, some people I know had a six figure business on the basic Shopify plan, a lot of visitors, a lot of customers, and there was literally no reason to upgrade to this one or to even to the advanced. If we go to features then, you get an online store that you can easily customize with the customizer of Shopify. If you sign up for an account, you can just use that. And by the way, Shopify has a 14 day free trial, so you can just uh, go to the website, sign up. You don't even have a credit card. Uh, you don't need a credit card for the demo. You can find some videos online and start playing with it to just know if it's something for you. I recommend because Wix is free for the first days and Shopify has 14 days free. Why not use both of them for a couple of days and which one you like the most you can continue. But let's continue with this video because I'm going to show something about Wix later and compare it to Shopify. You get unlimited amount of products, staff accounts for two. So if you have staff, like you want to outsource customer servers or product management, you can always add staff 24 seven live support from Shopify if you need help. And then every normal thing like free SSL, discount code, etc., etc. If you compare this to Wix, Wix has four plans, VIP, unlimited plan for for entrepreneurs and freelancers they all, that's what they claim combo and most basic the connect domain plan so what you can do you can go if you want to start out with not a lot of money then you can go for the combo i would never recommend the connect domain plan because it's because it's super limited and the storage space here it's only 500 megabits which is way way too low no one can use 500 i mean even if you want to create a simple store this is not enough however the combo has three gigabytes which is still limited but it's better than 500 so you can create your store with combo eight euros 50 which is around ten dollars you get custom domain a free domain even that you can connect uh, there are no wix ads free ssl and all that stuff if we now go to pricing of the payments on Shopify, like the fees, if someone orders with a credit card, then you go, then you have to pay 2.9% of the transaction fee plus an additional 30 cents. In-person credit cards, a little bit lower, but as you can see, the fees on payment methods for Shopify are relatively high. Of course, there are other payment processors, uh, providers like Stripe, uh, Aiden stuff like that that you can add you can add both of them to Wix and Shopify and one I would recommend you at this point if you want the cheapest out there like cheap of the cheap 
go for Wix because Shopify is going to cost $29 a month at the lowest. But I think if you want to create a dropshipping store or anything like that, you definitely this is definitely worth it because with Shopify you can create a stunning store that looks very professional. I mean, like more than 10 million people use it, even big brands use Shopify and it's definitely worth it. I don't want to say that Wix is bad. I mean, a lot of people still use Wix. Wix are ad advertising a lot. And yeah, I've used Wix as well, not for online stores, but for personal stores. You can still create a website for Wix. It's not hard. It's like very similar to Shopify. It's basically the same with building it, only slightly different. But yeah, you can see some more customer 24 seven, stuff like that, very similar to Shopify. If we go to the payment methods here, uh, the Wix payment methods are credit cards and SEPA direct debit or with a bank transfer. So no PayPal. However, on Shopify, they used to only accept credit cards, only major credit and debit cards, but now they also um, accept PayPal, which I really, really like. Another thing that I like about Wix is that it has a lot of templates. So uh, Shopify only has about yeah, 10 or 15 free templates, which are good, but because there are so few, all the websites on Shopify look basically the same. Like you can really easy, like you can recognize a Shopify store like very easily. And Wix is a little bit diversified. There are like, yeah, 500 plus customizable teams, which makes it, makes it unique. You can't really see, if you see a Wix store, you can't really tell if it's a typical Wix store or not. However, on Shopify, a thing that I don't like all websites look the same. You can always see, always tell upfront, oh, this is a Shopify store. Hmm, maybe sh I shouldn't buy from this. So sometimes that's a little bit confusing for the customer because customers think that every store is owned by the same, by the same person. And on Wix, it's a little bit different, more different. And yeah, you can easy, easily step out of the rest and make it outstanding, make your website like very customizable. So that's what I like about Wix. Now, SEO wise, it's basically the same. There's not a big difference, but in general, I would recommend Shopify. It's still easier, especially for beginners. If you want the more advanced things, you want to customize it however you want, then go for Wix. It's still good and easy to connect with dropshipping plugins and stuff like that. If this video helped you out, please leave a like, please subscribe and see you next time. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Bye.